because they really give us real treatment. Now, coming into these Olympic Games, a three-day eventer from New Zealand. You talk about a dark horse. This was the man. The team in the Olympics for the first time, three-day eventers. He had come to Lexington only once, the only time he's been overseas. And we're speaking of Mark Todd, watched by more than 32,000 fans here at Santa Anita. Todd, who will be riding the 10-year-old brown gelding, New Zealand-bred Charisma, and they've had plenty of that together. They certainly have, Chris. And if you'll notice, Mark Todd is six foot one, and the horse that he's riding, Charisma, is very small. Hand in hand with the coach, Virginia Holgate, coming out to watch New Zealand's Mark Todd. There he is, 28 years old, 6'1", and 176 pounds. A lot of pressure on him if he can go clean without any jumping faults or time faults. He can really build it up for Karen Stives. Right now, he's standing number two after a faultless performance at Fairbanks. That's what he wants here. But he's only 2.4 penalty points behind Karen Stives. Karen could win it outright if she can go clear, no matter what Mark Todd does. But Mark really has a shot at a medal. And he he serves that second fence a good rug, but it stays up. is looking a little tired from yesterday. Clear round will put the pressure on America's Karen Stives, the leader. She will ride next. She can hardly feel that added pressure of the individual medal because I know, knowing Karen, that the, individual, the team goal is uppermost in her mind. But both gold medals are on the line for Karen. Only the individual is on the line for Mark. Mark knows pressure. He won badminton in 1980, one of the great tests in England for these three-day event riders and horses. That's right. Second with this horse only this year. So, very redoubtable combination in three-day eventing. Mark Todd's a very talented rider. The horse is, is a little tired. He's not giving the fences a lot of room, and that is going to require Mark to be very accurate which he's being. He's got the talent to be accurate. I'm here with Tad Coffin and Bill Steinkraus, both gold medal winners. Tad, at 1976, our, uh, our three-day expert here. Big spread for this little horse. And how the tension builds. The FEI, only this year, changed their formula so that now the leader goes last, and that just creates pressure, pressure, pressure. The International Equestrian Federation has certainly done a great job at picking sites along with the Los Angeles Organizing Committee, the triple. And he's rubbed that one. Another rub. And it stays up. One to go. Rubbed all three. He's having a very lucky down. round. Yeah. But still alive with a clear round. And he gets oh. him in front and back, but he's still clear. A and tremendous round. 118. Well, well, two seconds within the time. He almost saw a medal go away. He certainly did, but Mark's a very talented rider. He knows exactly how much stamina his horse has left. He didn't make the test of show jumping too difficult.